Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So we are in Washington DC this morning. So really excited for this. We drove in this morning. We're stopping in Virginia. How far was it? It's about 10 miles. About 10 miles. And it took us probably 50 minutes to an hour because of traffic, like morning rush hour traffic. We came early. Uh, we've parked up in DC. There's hundreds of car parks. Don't ask me where we parked. Just get here early. Most of them have got early bird parking. We'll, we'll go and show you properly, but just walking just, we have had a little glimpse of the White House. It's behind these trees, all these trees here. Even the little glimpse that we've had has already given me a bit of a lump in my throat, just because we love traveling to America so much and to say now that we've been to the Capitol yeah. and it's just, it's, it's just exciting for yeah. us. <laughs> Looking forward to it. So we thought we'd start you off pretty big. So here's the White House. Isn't it good of them that they've made a full scale replica of the movie prop from uh, Independence Day that they blew up? Stacey, uh, Stacey didn't like that joke. No, because I, I was walking down <laughs> with a lump in my throat and he was cracking jokes about it, comparing it to the Independence Day movie. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying, I need to carry on when we get back home as well, but I've been trying to read up a lot of history and about all the presidents. Is it the 46th? president is in at the moment yes but i didn't know as well till i was reading up on it that george washington wasn't the first president to well he's the first president but he didn't live in there it was john adams the second president what didn't wasn't the first I one he died before in philadelphia didn't we see something i remember when we went to see the yeah. liberty bell we saw something about that but i think he died before he got the chance to move in so and then john adams lived in there first yeah so there's the f we're calling this the front because that's the entrance and then We'll show you the back with all the big gardens uh, after that. But I like the big fountain. It's very nice. So they do uh, offer a tour. We left it a bit too late to apply. Uh, there is a bit of a procedure. It's not like how we're going up the monu Washington Monument where you just book a ticket. It's a lot more complicated. So sadly, we didn't uh, have time to do that. I think it is free though. Oh, is it free? Yeah, I, I don't think you have to pay, bit. but I think there is a... We left it too late to apply. As usual. So we were coming around now to see the back of the White House, but we did make a little detour on the way because Kev noticed there was a Wawa's, he looked on the map because we fancied a warm drink. And Kev was like, there's a Wawa's here. So we, any chance, any opportunity we've got to go in a Wawa's, we love it, don't we? We do so. like a Wawa's, we do. <laughs> so, yeah, we've had a, a coffee and a tea. And plus, as well, it's very cheap if you've never been. That's a 24 ounce cup of tea and that cost me $2. Yeah, so it is a little bit cold today, but on the plus side, at least it's dry because we forgot the umbrellas anyway. Oh yeah, so, we I did, think didn't we're we? we're going to be okay today. We're not going to need them. <laughs> it's a good job, really. But yeah, there's the uh, Washington Monument. We'll be going up that in a bit. We did reserve tickets for that. We actually remember to get tickets for something, don't worry. But there was the, uh, that's where the National Christmas Tree would have been. We've just missed it. As you can see, they're still packing up a lot of the groundwork and barriers and stuff. So that's a shame yeah so calvin coolidge back on back on christmas eve 1923 was the first president that formed the tradition i guess for lighting the christmas tree here now it's something that we've never actually watched so no. we were saying just everything's on youtube so we'll have to put it in on youtube once we get back home yeah, it'd you be think... nice to see um it just says the presidents since he did he do it in various ways so we'll have to see if we can find it on youtube and see i'd like to see them do yeah, it yeah i'm surprised yeah. you don't see more of it at christmas time like yeah on youtube and stuff like that so there's the back of the white house now and the uh, south lawn and the water fountain now I didn't realise this, but you could actually go on the South Floor and it used to be open to the public up until World War II and then they had to shut it. But they use it now for like, it says for staff barbecues and bits like that. But that is also where the uh, President's helicopter Marine One will take off and land when he, you know he's coming and going from the White House. And then if you can see just through the railings, there's a little like dark brown archway and some flower gardens there that is the kitchen garden that michelle obama opened in 2009 so they use that to you know grow herbs and vegetables and stuff and then they use all that stuff in the white house as well so the president and the family is getting a healthy meal so behind me now is the washington monument this was built to uh, commemorate george washington they started construction on this in 1848 and it took 40 years to complete now you can see two different colors because they did have to halt construction there was a few different reasons we won't get into that one of them was something to do with the pope i think i read that once they stopped at that point it then took another 20 
one or 23 years something like that right. early yeah 20, 20 to 23 things. years before they then started the rest yeah but uh, we will be going up this it does cost one dollar you do have to reserve tickets i think we reserved them about 30 days out i think that's when there was some tickets available you can if there's some left get them on the day but if you don't want to be disappointed you'd probably be better off reserving them if you can it's 555 feet tall and when it was finished in 1888 it was the tallest building in the world who knew so uh, we might as well go up it Right, so I can't believe we've actually just been up the Washington Monument. When we were up there, I kept saying to Kev, I can't believe we're right at the top of the Washington Monument. So yeah, where them tiny windows were, we've just been all the way up there. I hate elevators, but I'd have never forgiven myself if we didn't go, if I didn't go in it and go up there. Now talking about the elevator, on the way down, uh, try and get close to the doors because there's two little glass panels on each of the doors and they yeah. slow down and show you some of the brick on the inside and uh, you know some of them are carved and some have got names so they do sh do show you a few so if you're interested in that stand by the doors i think it should have been interactive the elevator should have been interactive going up and it should have told you information but it wasn't working so the um is it the rangers yeah, yeah. so one of the rangers that came in the elevator with us because i think we said before because uh, we we said that the monument was completed in 1888 we think we did <laughs> it opened yeah i think we said it was completed in 1888 it opened in 1888 but the monument monument itself was actually completed in 1884 so he told us uh, that going up in the lift just he also did say but he was noisy i didn't quite catch what he said he was saying how far below the monument down below in the ground that the monument the stone goes, goes. Well, was it like maybe goes. 20 30 feet I, down I or something said, 30 sounds familiar you might he said yeah but he was just saying as well how far down it goes as well underneath the ground so just an amazing experience so many amazing views up there so i think we stayed up for about 10 15 minutes they, they limit it as well so there's not you know we might have to queue just a second for one of the windows but it wasn't too crowded up there but uh it was really pinch me moments just looking out of the window so we're just by the reflecting pool now there are a few memorials around this area this one behind me is the world war ii memorial now what we're going to do is just pan over some shots of the different memorials that there is in this area but as we go in them we're not going to film in there just because it, it is a memorial we just want to be respectful so we don't really want to take the camera and film in there so we'll just pan over some shots from afar and just show you what memorials there is in there but they're definitely worth having a look round if you want to pay your respects so here's the reflecting pool now obviously you can kind of make out the reflection in the water sorry some ducks have literally just started coming up and they're, they're ruining the reflection if you can see that but uh all around the it'd be nice if the you know the trees were fully leaved but over all around this area they do have a lot of cherry blossoms and i'll put a couple of pictures on now we've seen like online and it looks really nice when the cherry blossoms come in so we're just walking down the past the reflecting pool as we walk down to the lincoln memorial and we have just googled at its deepest uh the reflecting pool is only 30 inches deep so I don't think you're going to get any Olympic swimmers anytime soon going through this, but it's a nice little place walking around. Like I say, you've got the memorials all around you and walking down. We're just heading now, like I say, down to the Lincoln Memorial. Go see that big guy sitting on his chair. Stacy's little friend, the squirrels are here. She's been running off all over the place because she thinks these squirrels are going to run up a leg. No, Kev's just, uh, we keep looking at all these squirrels. Oh, oh, Kev's leg stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look cute, but don't come too close. Can't they bite you? Well, well they've got teeth. There's just been one with literally an E. <laughs> no, stop it now, Kev. Oh, <laughs> They're only looking at you. Look. Oh. oh <laughs> well, I'm making new friends. Stacy is all the way up there. Give us a wave. So we're just down now at the construction site formerly known as the Lincoln Memorial. It seems like every single time we come somewhere like this, 
there's always construction going on at these places. We will get a bit closer, I'm only joking. But uh, yeah, there's some great views down here. We can work magic with pictures. We'll make sure we don't get um, that bit on. I can't do that. <laughs> but yeah, there's great views of the Washington Monument behind there. We forgot to say as well before, because I think we mentioned at the beginning that when we were first on about it, that when it was completed, it was the tallest building in the world. And I think the guy also said when we were going up the elevator that it was the Eiffel Tower. Two years later. Is that what it was? I swear two he said later. two years later. Two, yeah, so it's the Eiffel Tower that came and then, then that was the tallest building. So structure. as you can as you can see, like say, you can see the monument there reflecting in the pool. Can you see the little Capitol building? Oh yeah, you can just see the Capitol building yeah. at the side. But yeah, so if, e if at either end you crouch down and put your phone upside down at, by the water, you'll get like a nice shot of the Lincoln or the Washington reflecting in the pool. So we can't film past those white marble steps in the Lincoln Memorial, uh, but unfortunately there's construction going on anyway, so it's not like we could show you loads. Uh, he was the 16th president and Stacy loved to tell me that he was the tallest president at six foot four. So interesting facts from Stacy. So we're just gonna walk down the National Mall now uh, from the Lincoln Memorial down to the State Capitol building and then see what there is walking along there and then after that we'll see what we do so that building behind me that beautiful building might i add behind me is the u.s capitol the capitol building so it's over 200 years old and obviously it's where the congress get together and they make all those important laws and decisions i guess in you know with us being from england i, I suppose is it kind of like the houses of parliament is that would i'd that say the comparison is like the house yeah, of parliament yeah that's probably our equi so equivalent it's just full of full of people with full of hot air and <laughs> stupidness maybe but i suppose these laws and decisions whether you agree with them or not there's a lot of people in there with probably a lot of the weight of the world on the shoulders might they add and they've got all these important decisions to make but yeah i mean it's it is beautiful to look at if you were uh, have watched the channel before you know that we like to collect the starbucks mugs and i believe according to good maps there's a starbucks just the other side of this art gallery so uh we might as well check that one out i also want to go into one of the we've seen like a souvenir shop tacky gift shops yeah and i just want to get like a little white house or something so just all around the capitol building there are lots of museums so just for example you've got the air and space museum behind me is the nat the National Gallery, Gallery of Art, Art yeah. Museum. I think we want to go into the Natural History Museum. Which I think is the next one on the left, on Stacey's right. On my right there, is it's right. Okay, because I know they've got a really cool fossil collection in there that I, I wanted to have a look at. I believe they've got a T-Rex skeleton as well. Ooh, have they? I, I believe so. So uh, we're not gonna, we'll put some really cool pictures over, but we don't want to film inside the museum just because it's a bit disturbing to others in, in like a museum a, you can't like really vlog, vlog in there place, really yeah. yeah we don't want to de uh, disturb others but obviously i'm just naming a few here if you've got anything there's there's loads of museums around here so just have a look at them and uh, google it so we're gonna end it here now we've had a fantastic day in yeah. washington dc seen some amazing things it, it's just been incredible yeah, yeah i'm really glad that it's the it's a nice start to our little US road trip yeah so we've just come out of here this is the natural history museum it is free I yeah. believe all the museums are free double check all, that maybe a lot double check that cover your back yeah, yeah. cover your back double check that yourselves <laughs> online but no we're now we have struggled so far to find this elusive Starbucks mug oh before we went to that museum we must have gone in about six we have been in six <laughs> yes so uh, we're going we to haven't had any. no so we're going to walk back to the car now going in every Starbucks we can and if we get it i'll put a picture on now <laughs> if we don't then we're going to have to buy one off ebay we've already looked at about 30 something dollars like but we can't get the washington yeah. dc mug haven't we, we so we've got to have them all <laughs> like pokemon we've got to get them all but yeah it's it's been it real. i know i keep saying it but it just has been so incredible it's yeah just seen some great stuff got some great pictures seen some amazing sights and yeah, yeah. brilliant so before we freeze to death yeah this gone cold yeah really cause we've cold got a now. couple miles walk to the car as well so Great. we're gonna love you and leave you there so as always thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time bye, bye.